drifting into the open. Do you see it, Fergus? It is that large mammal with the long neck thing there. I think that just watching giraffe at a distance out here is the best because it gives you a sense of the space and the scale of the landscape on which we're operating here. It really is quite spectacular. You can hear lions calling way up towards the north. This is a beautiful Tanzanian giraffe. Ah, the Jersey lady says, yay, giraffe. The Jersey lady, thank you, Jersey lady, for saying yay, giraffe. Yes, indeed, yay, and that's not the only one. I'm going to ask Fergus to pan to the right, back into Kenya, and show us a, well, very, very, very distant one that is the size of a small but tall ant way over on the horizon. Can you see it there, Fergus? <laughs> yes, just zoom in there and go right a little bit. Right there, you've got him. That giraffe is about a mile away. 1,600 meters. 1.6 kilometers. I've no idea how many feet there are in a mile. Isn't it 5,000 or 5,280, something like that? Trilly A. Willie. <laughs> Somebody called Chili A. Willie. Chili A. Willie, you want to know where, if the Thompson's gazelles are not here, where are they? They're in the Serengeti, I think. I mean, there are some around here, but the big herds that move with the migration, some 200,000 odd apparently, you'll find that they are in the Serengeti and they just never bothered to come up here. It was very unkind of them. We'll have to have a word with them when we next see them. <laughs>